drip, 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 drip. The teapot unforgivingly whispers deafening secrets into my soul. Everything is silent. Everything is quiet, except for the teapot. It sizzles as the burner slowly heats the pot and scorches the excess water dripping from the side of the sickening yellow ceramic like a dry waterfall. Drip, drip, drip. As I walk towards the teapot with three slow, deliberate steps, my eyes wander out towards the windows, my mind wishing I was back home. The teapot screams now. I hear a cry of a child, no, two children and the babble of a little boy. I hear the sirens of a fire engine. It's different from China. The wind blew through the dead leaves and the bright birds stretched out in front of me. The hum of my family waving me goodbye filled my ears as I quickly ran down the brightly colored road. Pollution and smog filled the air, but I didn't care. I stopped by the store to pick up the extra food we forgot. I walked back to my house, admiring the bright lights twinkling in each house like little eyes. When I walked back in the door, my family jumped up to greet me. My son had grabbed my hand and pulled me to the kitchen. I smiled widely as I wrapped my arms around my older sister, who had been my best friend since birth. I'm so glad that you're going to be able to have another baby, Chen Wang, she laughed, as her younger daughter, Chun Hua, ran off to play with my son, Ming Yu. Her eldest, Bo Hai, helped her with the meal. A smile tugged on my lips as my husband took my hand and twirled me around the kitchen. Me as well, I rejoiced in my native language of Mandarin. My mother smiled as she saw us dancing around. My uncle smiled too as his wife handed him her baby. My cousin swayed excitedly in rhythm to the guzang. She was pregnant with her firstborn. Her husband had a happy gleam in his eyes. My hand landed on my enlarged stomach. My husband guided me over to the table piled high with food. My family started to eat. I filled my plate, enough for two people. The smells drifted up my nose. The bright lights and loud music filled my senses. My younger son grabbed my hand and took a handful of food off my plate. Laughter like bells filled the air. A smile grew upon my lips as I remembered what tomorrow was going to be. My hand sat on my stomach yet again. I secretly hoped that it was a girl. For tomorrow we would find out what gender the child was going to be. Whether it was a sweet little girl or a strong young boy, I didn't care. But for heaven's sake, I hoped it was not twins. My eyes looked over the rest of my family. Around midnight, my family started to leave. After saying our final goodnights, my husband Jian and I walked upstairs, tucking Ming Yu in and then falling asleep with contentment and a feeling of family closeness. No one knew what was to come the next day. Shaking, I was shaking. Jane sent eyes of steel. No coroner could ball up my son. It was twins. I turned to Jane, finally, when the tear slipped out of my eyes. A tip, tip on a slip, a few, a future in a park, was stood there outside the large white building. Bon out the people and noise makers, hoping to keep all the property. Keep off the property. No, there wasn't any hope. You couldn't just keep one of your child. They couldn't take the my baby. They couldn't take my babies. When. When I had work up, I dry up the tear and the tears with red from the many sleep, many sleep. I had the night before I watched the giant lamp on on my. Smash with pain. My and my face is gunch scrunch up trying to forget about the about the those that have played 
my mind ever since I had found out from the doctor of it that I'm having twin. Though the thought of both was so wrong to me.